Today we're talking about the God who helps us right now on The Bearded Prophet. My friends, the gospel is such good news because God doesn't just want to save you. He wants to live with you, live in you, and he wants to help you. God is a good father and he actually cares about you. He's not looking to, for you to simply perform and strive and try harder in your own strength. No, he says, take one step toward me, I'll take ten toward you. Give me your weak yes. Give me your little, God, help me to obey you. Help me to know you. And I'll come in and help you. Call out to me for wisdom. I'll give you wisdom. Call out to me for help. I will help you. One of the names of God, one of the names of the Holy Spirit, who is part of the Godhead, the Trinity, and we can talk more on that in a minute, is the Helper. The Holy Spirit, God with us, God in us, is called the Helper, the Comforter, the Teacher. The glory of the Gospel is not how good we are, but how good God is. The glory of the truth of the Gospel, of the real Christian faith, is not how great we are, but how much God does for us, in us, and through us. Yes, we have a role to play. We need to partner with God. We need to cooperate with Him. We need to believe Him. We need to say yes to Him. But by no means is most of this goodness happening because of us, or certainly not because of our strength. Even our best yes and our best effort is still weak in comparison to God, who made heaven and earth and sustains the whole world by the word of His power, who split the Red Sea so the nation of Israel could pass through, who raises the dead. All these things God does, even when He chooses to work a miracle through you, which is great. I pray He does many through you. It is His power. You don't have the power to raise the dead. You don't have the power to make blind eyes open or legs grow out or broken bones be healed. But if you've accepted Jesus and you're walking with him and the Holy Spirit is in you, that same power that raised Christ from the dead lives in you and can flow through you to affect those miracles. That's when God is most glorified. When we partner with him and he flows through us and in us to affect change in the world. And also even to affect change in us, to deliver us, to save us, to help us, to transform our lives, and then use us to transform others. Again, we need to have a right picture of God and even a right picture of the gospel, of a relationship with God through Jesus. He remains our helper even after we get saved, even after we come to faith. That is the way to continually walk with him through life and do the will and the works of God. Let him be God. You be you. Let him be God and you get closer to him and get on board with him and ask him to help you walk out his plan. 